What's going on everyone? I'm here with my official review of OSX uh, Mountain Lion, or as some may call it, version 10.8. Um, what I'm going to be covering in this review is the key features that Apple, um, <coughs> excuse me, that Apple announced at their keynote back in February. And I am also going to be um, showing you guys some of the lesser known features and some of the features that Apple um, did not preview in their keynote. So let's go ahead and get started with the first feature. And that feature is um, deeper integration with iCloud. <coughs> so anyone that updates to OS X Mountain Lion will be prompted to sign in with their Apple ID to set up iCloud. And basically what this deeper integration includes is integrating um, several applications of the um, operating system. Even third-party apps um, will now fully take advantage of the iCloud feature, which is pretty dang nice. And it also has documents in the cloud, which I have not been able to, been able to test just yet because I have no um, document uh, software. So, yeah. Okay, but next is the new Reminders app, which Apple ported from iOS. And this app is pretty much identical to the... Uh, Reminders app on iOS. Um, you get over here. You get your uh, lists in a uh, organized view, and then you have all of your lists on the uh, paper view here. So, and you can use a two-finger sliding gesture from left or right on the trackpad to uh, view each of your lists. Then you can hit the plus button to add a new list, right there. And you can delete the list by um, right-clicking on it. And then you can view the calendar, which is in, also in the iPad version of Reminders, but not in um, iPhone. I don't believe, but don't quote me on that. Um, and then you can press this button um, to hide the sidebar. So you can only see the uh, lists on this uh, page here. And then you have the search icon. And then, of course, you can uh, add a new... Reminder by clicking right here, and then you can type whatever you want, and then when you're finished or have completed the uh, reminder, hit the check mark, and the reminder flies up to the completed section right here. And it also gives like ex exclamation marks depending on the priority of it. If it's a low priority, it'll have one ch um, exclamation mark and so on. And three is the highest. So it's pretty good. Um, next <coughs> is the a dedicated notes app, which I am extremely glad Apple put that here. Because I personally hated having the notes app integrated with my mail app right here. Because it would get really out of order and kind of jumbled. and I, I, I hated it. But I'm glad they separated the two and they made a dedicated app for it. So opening it up, you can tell it's basically the same exact thing as you'd see on an iPad version of this. You have the trash can here, the share button, which I'll get into the share button more as we go into the, as we get more into the video. Uh, and then you have a plus button to add a, a new note. And then you can press this to bring up the accounts associated with each note. And one cool thing is that you can add photos and links to your notes. So here I have a photo of my desktop. <coughs> Excuse me. I kind of have the cough today. But yeah, you could put a photo in your note and basically kind of make it a temporary Word document related thing, I guess. It's pretty cool. And um, there is a way to pin a note to your desktop, but 
I have not personally found how to do that yet. So once I find out how to do that, I'll post um, in the description on how to. So yeah, that's basically the notes app. It's pretty cool, and I'm glad they did that. Um, and then next you have an iMessage app, which Apple changed iChat to iMessages, which I am not going to open it because there is personal information inside of there. So unfortunately, I only can tell you guys about it at this time. <clears throat> so basically, it looks identical to the iPad uh, version of it. You can um, send photos, links, uh, contacts, location, and uh, voice memos and stuff like that. Even though there's no voice memos in here, but you can send that a voice uh, audio file if you so choose. Um, and then, of course, all of your iMessages are updated on all of your devices. So you type a message on your on your Mac and it will be updated through iCloud on say your iPhone. <clears throat> and it also still works with IM services. So if you have a Yahoo Messenger account or an AIM account or a Windows Live, oh I'm running out of battery. Let me plug it in real quick. Um, if you have any of those accounts you will be able to still use them which is very good in my opinion because I have both a Windows Live and a Yahoo Messenger so that'll be very useful uh, okay so moving on uh, this next feature is a really big one um, this has also been ported from the uh, iOS uh, iOS 5 I should say and that is Notification Center so you swipe to the right of your trackpad with two fingers and it will reveal the notification center. So you can get all of your notifications inside the notification center, <clears throat> uh, just like on iOS 5. So now there are also, you swipe back with two fingers to close it, uh, there also is new notification styles, uh, just like in iOS 5. Um, also, you can hit this icon here to uh, open the notification center if you choose. Um, so t the way you can configure these uh, new notification styles is by going into System Preferences <clears throat> and going to the Notification section and configuring all of your settings inside here. I will make a separate video about this, um, getting into detail with what you can do. Um, so another thing with the notification styles, I'm going to go ahead and send myself an iMessage to give you guys a look at what the banner notification style will look like. So I'm going to send this from my iPhone saying, hey, there we go, and it should come in any second. Okay, it's sent, and there we go. It'll say, it'll say the contact name, it'll give you a cool little icon, and the message down here in the bottom. And then when you are done with the notification, it will slide away. And if you want to view that notification, you all you have to do is click on the notification when it is um, present. And then open Notification Center, and there you go. You got the uh, notification. And if you want to delete one, press the X, and you're good to go. So, next feature is Power Nap, which is unfortunate because only the two, uh, 2012 Macs will be able to take advantage of this feature. Any Mac older than the 2012 version will not uh, be compatible. But essentially what it does is allows your Mac to update the system software or apps or get push uh, notifications and mail and all this uh, while it is sleeping. So you can stay up to date while your Mac is in sleep mode, which is pretty cool. But it's like I said, it's unfortunate that um, only the newer Macs of 2012 will be able to take advantage of it. <clears throat> Alright, next is a, another kind of big feature, and that is Siri Dictation. It's not actually called Siri Dictation, but that's just what I call it. But what it is, is the dictation that you would find 
me delete this note. Um, the, it is the dictation that you would find on uh, the iPad 3 or the so-called new iPad, as Apple calls it. But I'm just going to call it the iPad 3. Um, so all you have to do to access it is pressing the function key twice on your keyboard. Of course, you can set the key to whatever you want, but the default is function. So I'm going to hit it now, and I'm going to uh, say something into it. Okay. This is a test of dictation on OS X Mountain Lion. Period. And there you go. It says, okay, this is a test of dictation on OS X Mountain Lion, and it'll do punctuation for you as well. So say I want to jump to the next line. All I have to do is say, next line. And it'll jump you to the next line. So say, for example, you want to put a period with, or not a period, if you want to put a comma and an question mark in your sentence, you can do this is how you do punctuation comma in mountain lion question mark this is how you do punctuation comma in mountain lion with a question mark so it works really really well and it is able to dictate very very long sentences so this is perfect for anyone needing to um uh, write an essay and you don't feel like take, or taking the time to type, you can just sit here and say the, all the words with your voice, which is a lot easier in my opinion. So, that is pretty cool. I personally love this feature. I'm, I, um, I have already used it a lot within these two days. Um, you can also configure the um, dictation settings under the dictation and speech section. And for those of you who are wondering where the speech commands have gone, um, as you guys may notice, uh, there is no longer speech commands under this section. But it's still here, so you guys do not have to worry. All you have to do is go into Accessibility, and go to Speakable Items, and your uh, uh, Siri-like command list will still be here. So you can turn this on and you'll still get your standard little uh, microphone icon. Which I was kind of bummed that I that they I thought they removed it, but I found it there. So I thought I'd get, let you guys know it was there. So, moving on. Let me check if, how much time I have. Okay. Uh, moving on, we have the new sharing button that is system-wide. So, say, for example, you go into Safari you will now get this sharing little icon here which you can press and get several different options add to reading list, add bookmark, email the page, message, or Twitter so for example if you want to uh, send this uh, website through a message you just hit message it'll bring up a, a message window with the link to the web page and then you can add your contact and send it off as well as you get emoji icons which is pretty nice and that is, like I said, system-wide. So, say for example, um, I don't really have any other thing that I could open at the moment, but you get the point. You can do it in QuickTime, Firefox, uh, Messages, um, iPhoto, Photo Booth, uh, Notes, as you saw before. That's one thing I do. You can hit uh, this and email or message it. And I believe you can do an I or um, calendar. That is another thing. As you guys just heard, I almost called this iCal, but as you guys can see, Apple has changed contacts or um, address book to contacts and iCal to calendar, so it matches up with iOS, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's it of the sharing. It is system wide, so anywhere you need to share something or have the ability to share you will have that button um, right there for your convenience. Um, there's also Facebook integration, but that is not going to be coming into this operating system until iOS 6 is released, uh, and that is in the fall sometime. So I'll make a video on that uh, when it's released, but 
yes, there is going to be Facebook integration. <clears throat> the next feature is Twitter integration, or deeper in Twitter integration, I should say. Um, it has a single sign-on, which you would access by going to System Preferences and going to Mail and Contacts and signing into Twitter once. And then from there, you can go to that same sharing button and hit Twitter, and it'll bring up a tweet sheet and give a cool little animation here with the web page uh, paper clipped to the window. And then you can change your uh, Twitter name, add your location, um, uh, type your text, send it off, and your character count. So just like iOS, just with a cool animation. And also, you can access that tweet sheet from Notification Center. So you can hit this click to tweet button from here, and it'll bring down the tweet sheet. And you can send a tweet uh, right off. And you guys may notice there's no hashtags, but all you have to do is hit the um, number icon on your keyboard, just like so, and it'll bring up a hashtag. And you can say whatever you want after it. Which is pretty cool. Also, another thing I should note, in Notification Center, there is a switch to enable or disable the alerts and banners. So say, for example, you're presenting at a school or your business, and you do not want to get alerted or bothered by the notifications. So you can just shut that off, and you'll be good to go. So I have run out of time in part one of this video, so I will put an annotation and a link in the description to part two. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, comment below if you have any questions, thumbs up the video, peace out.